How? We're going to do the following count, the following alakot, not, not, not like she, please. Siman, Kuf, Kaf, Chet, Lord of Bilkat, Kohanim. Last time we spoke about the importance of the Kohanim giving the alakot. And we said we're going to touch on something which is very delicate, which is a very sensitive topic to many that needs to be told and needs to be known is that the fact that some people are not aware of the fact that if they are Kohanim, and they do certain things that are improper, they are not allowed to do the Kat Kohanim. We know that Yolu Mishpatecha de Yagog, Asimu Ketorah Apecha Vechalel Mizbechecha, Kohanim had the responsibility to transfer the Torah, to teach the Torah to Kral Israel. That was the responsibility of all the Kohanim. And this is what the Kohen is. Kohen has Rizim, and Zrizim Yotel Me'ayu, and Mitosh Nishal Ayudim. We know that the Zrizu that any Jew has, the Kohen is even more than this, is even more, bigger, more faster. That, that's what the Kohen is. And a lot of people are not out there aware of certain facts. We know that Kohanim are, by law, supposed to get married to, they have restrictions when it comes to certain certain marriages. We know that a Kohen is not allowed to marry a Isha, a Zona, meaning a woman that had relations with somebody who is a Sunnah of Hashem, which is not allowed to marry a Jewish woman. For example, a Mamzel. Let's say a woman, she had relations with a mamzel, even if she was not married to him. But because mamzel had relations with she becomes, she has a status of zona because she was nib'alale psul kahal. She had relations with somebody who was not allowed to enter a normal, regular, standard marriage of the Jewish Jewish, Jewish people. Another one is pitsua daka, kilut shofcha. You have people that are uh, health-wise, they are not well. Pitsua daka means someone that is upatsu uh, asham, and his female organs are messed up. And Kluch of Chaim is also, he has, uh, also doesn't have the ability of reproducing. It's, certain, uh, it's either his testicles are messed up completely or she was less. There's many different things that talk about. And if a woman had relations with somebody like that, she would also be someone that is not allowed to marry a Kohen. Another situation is a Goy, a Ko, uh, let's say, Chaz Shalom, a regular woman. She goes and she lives with the Goy, we should never hear of these things. She goes and she has relations with the Goy. She, that woman also is not allowed to marry a Kohen. Then there's a restriction that a Gdusha, a woman that was once married and she's divorced. But she means she was married by a law of a Jewish law and everything was done the right way. She gets divorced, she's a good Jewish woman, but she gets divorced, she's not allowed to marry a Kohen. Also, said you will be with the Chalutza, Psu, the Rabbanat. You have a woman that she's an almana. Her husband passed away, but she had no kids at the time. For this man had no kids left in this world at the time when she, he passed away. And this woman fell to Yibum. She was supposed to get married to one of the brothers. Today we don't do Yibum. And she went ahead and she took off the shoe and she spit on the floor. Said, you know, you don't want to build your brother's family. You don't want to be in the shoes. And on and on. She also gets a rabbinical gap, like a letter that says that she's divorced from the family. And that also would make her also assume to get married to a Kohen. There's, these things have to be or also, chas uh, any of these things which would go ahead, like Surei La, Surei Kahal, that come to the point of having relations with a regular woman, she, that woman is a surah forbidden to a Kohen. So these things have to be well be aware, well aware of. And if a Kohen does marry such a woman, the kids that he at the time he's married to her, he has a din of a halal, he does not have a law of a regular Kohen, he's a halal, he's a Kohen that is not allowed to give, do avodah in the Beit HaMikdash at all. Which means he's not allowed to do Birkat Kohanim. can't say, I'm a Kohen, I'm a Kohen, what you are a Kohen? This is a shame, not a shame on him, but shame on all of us, that we have such a situation that, you know, such an illegitimate marriage taking place, which is, which is improper. Any kids that are born from such a family also are not allowed to do Birkat Kohanim because they have a status of a, of a halal forever. This psuka house, that psuka mamzilut continues on and on and on. So these things have to be regulated. People should not be embarrassed to walk over to somebody quietly, privately, say, listen, I'm not here to tell you, but if you do go up to Dubikat Kohanim, bracha is bracha levatala, you get a sin for that. Every time you, uh, you say, oh, uh, you make a Jewish people answer amen, it's amen yitoma, and you're causing other people to do avirot as well, please step down. Also, no aliyah la Torah, we don't give them nothing. As a Kohen, he's not allowed to go up. As a regular Jew, okay, that's a different story. We will let him go up. As a Shalvi, Hamishi, Shishi, Shvi, you know, last and line. But as the first one to come up to say that I am the one to carry the, the I'm the priest, you know, I'm, I'm going to lead the Jewish people.
people as a, as a leader. Such a leader is not a leader. And I, I want to say something that people should be aware of. This applies to everyone. Anybody that makes a marriage, anybody that does kiddushin, chupa, and everything, we have to have an establishment. It's, it's not something which is a suggestion, it's a must. That we have to have a, a place like a, oh, we could have, have everything in the archives. We should put together. This one made a wedding, okay, do me a favor. Before you make the wedding, find out everything, if everything is legit, and then after everything is done, take the ktuba that you did and submit it to a bedin where they could have a, a collection of all the ktuba, of all the marriages. This way we could track things down. Take a look how many terrible things are going on out there. And if the rabbi is, uh, doesn't want to submit those papers, must be he's not, maybe he's embarrassed, he's doing something wrong, and it's time to go learn. You know, maybe it's time to fix mistakes. And if you're not embarrassed and you're not afraid, must be you're doing everything right. So what's there to be worried about? It's not a matter of ego, not a matter of saying, you know, I know do you, who do you think you are. It's not a matter of who's who. It's man maniness. It's not like saying I am, he is, she is. It has to be once and for all. We have to all work together, become a team. We do something together. All the kupot, all the kiddushis, and also on top to point out all the privileges to both. Everything that was done till now should be inquired, should be found out who made the chupa and the kiddushin. A lot of times the edim are not kosher edim. Most marriages that were done back in home in Russia, Bukhara, Samarkand, Tashkent, Shambhe, it was all, kimat, everything was pasul. Not because there were mistakes in the chupa, the edim were not edim kshali. They had relatives, uncles, brothers, uh, fathers, be, uh, women testifying as edim, saying, I testified that so and so got married. This is a Kiddushin doesn't count at all. They're not even married. They live together with, with, with Yisudim. It's asul to do these things. Abotai, please. Everything has to be looked into. It's not something to be embarrassed of. Every single person say, really? I didn't know. And also, I'd like to ask everybody, do you know where your Ktubai is also? Do you know that if you don't have the Ktubai, you're not allowed to live under the same roof? You have to know. It's, she has to have the Ktubai. The lady of the house has to have the Ktubai in her, in her place. By her, and, and things should be inquired, and people should look into see, aha, inkaski, inkaski, how come this is spelled this way, how come this is written this way, and a lot of tubot out there are not done the right way, unfortunately. The spellings are done the wrong way. Well, spellings are not such a terrible thing because it's only shtal hayab alma. But bottom line, we have to fix this problem once and for all and stop making more problems. Let's solve the problems from now and for all, from now and on, and try to fix everything from before as well. Exactly.